are tracking new developments after a deadly shooting in Buckhead. Police say somebody targeted a woman riding in an Uber. We now know they are searching for more than one shooter. Atlanta police say they believe the gunman pulled up next to the SUV the woman was riding in. She had ordered an Uber black. The driver was not hurt. Investigators emphasize that this shooting was targeted. Never would have thought that something like this would happen to her. This is, this is not what I this is not what I saw for her. Her close friend Megan said she was a wonderful mother to her daughter and an aspiring dance hall artist. She just always had a song in her head. So she couldn't believe it when she learned her friend, so full of life, had been killed. I know what that means when somebody asks you like where you are before they tell you something. So I just, I, I knew at that point that something had happened to her, something really bad happened to her. This is the story of Tisha Bruley, a charismatic 31-year-old social media sensation whose vibrant life was tragically cut short. Known to her followers as Tavi Batty, had a captivating online presence and mesmerizing dance moves, Tisha's journey led her from the dazzling lights of an Atlanta strip club to a fateful Uber that would change everything. Who could commit such a horrific crime, and why did they want Tisha dead? Welcome to Viral Crimes. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes us to the vibrant streets of Atlanta, Georgia, a city where Southern charm and modern life blend smoothly. In the heart of this dynamic city, we meet Tisha Bruley, born on May 12, 1980, in Decatur, Georgia, and raised in the Atlanta region. Tisha was a bright force of nature, not simply another name in the crowd. Her enormous energy illuminated every space, and her irresistible personality pulled others in. Tisha started her career as an actress and model, winning hearts with her skill and attractiveness, before embracing social media stardom. She aimed to use her exceptional inspiration and love for life to not only entertain, but also inspire many people. Tisha's journey took a thrilling turn when she transitioned to social media. It was on these platforms that she discovered her true calling, a platform where she could share her talents and connect with a global audience. Everybody here, the only body, the baddest. Check out Freaky Girl out on all platforms right now. Freaky Girl make your pain a life. Freaky Girl make us my left wife. Tisha's posts, whether showcasing her dance moves, sharing glimpses of her daily life, or spreading messages of positivity, resonated with a broad and diverse audience. She became more than a personality, she became a source of inspiration for those who aspired to reach for the stars. Let's delve into the distressing event that unfolded on that fateful night in Atlanta. On the night of her tragic demise, Tisha was leaving the strip club where she had been dancing. The rhythm of the music still echoed in her ears as she stepped into the Uber that would carry her home. Tisha requested an Uber for the trip back to her Buckhead neighborhood. She had no idea that this seemingly normal travel would lead to a terrifying experience. Tisha settled into the backseat of the Chevrolet Escalade, likely lost in her thoughts, perhaps scrolling through her social media or reminiscing about her performance. As Tisha and her Uber driver pulled out of the club's parking lot, two vehicles trailed closely behind, like predators stalking their prey. Tisha's Uber ride, meant to be a safe journey back from the strip club, was soon plunged into chaos. As the car made its way through the dimly lit Atlanta streets, the calmness of the night was shattered by a blast of gunfire. Multiple gunmen, strategically positioned in two separate vehicles, ambushed the Chevrolet Escalade. The assailants, with no regard for human life, unleashed a relentless storm of over 20 rounds, turning the one serene ride into a battlefield of terror. In those disturbing seconds, the world seemed to slow as chaos reigned supreme. Tisha's desperate cries for help were drowned out by the deafening roar of gunfire. Her life, her dreams, extinguished in a cruel twist of fate, forever silenced by the merciless assailants. But what led to this violent ambush? What dark motives could have driven someone to target Tisha Bruley, a woman whose online presence had brought joy to countless followers? The darkness that descended upon that Chevrolet Escalade was absolute, a void where hope and innocence were mercilessly turned out. The night that had begun with Tisha's vivacious performance at the Allure Strip Club had concluded in a manner no one could have ever imagined. Tisha's Uber driver, his heart pounding in his chest, knew that the seconds ticking away could be the difference between life and death. Desperate, he fumbled for his phone, his trembling fingers barely able to dial 911. The driver's voice, choked with fear, cracked as he managed to utter the chilling words that would forever haunt those who heard them. Somebody in my car is shot. 
In those harrowing moments, the dispatcher on the other end of the line faced a race against time. The gravity of the situation weighed heavily on their shoulders as they sought to guide the driver through the chaos and provide much-needed assistance. The driver, still quaking with fear, relayed their location as best he could, his voice trembling with every word. Atlanta 911, operator 310, what's the address that you are going to I don't know, I'm on the road. Somebody shot, shot us. Yeah? Okay. Yeah? Where are you? I'm around, I don't know where I am. Hello, sir? Um, I need to know, I don't know where... I need to know what street you're on. I don't know which street I am. Look at somebody shot. Shot in them. Huh? Someone shot at your car? Uh, no, somebody shot in my car. I was, I'm, I'm a war driver. Okay, listen. I need to know where you are. Lindbergh. Lindbergh Drive. Lindbergh Drive and what? And uh, I can't get... I'm scared to, to somebody shot me to see this. Lindbergh and what? Piedmont? Lindbergh and uh, yeah. Piedmont? Somebody shit. Uh, listen, listen, sir. I want you to listen, okay? Somebody shot, somebody killed in my car. Okay, listen. I need to know where you are. Are you at Lindbergh and Piedmont? Lindbergh, you need to get out from the car and that's it? Huh? Lindbergh and the Adina. Okay, hold on. I'm going to put the ambulance on the line. Hold on. Okay. Grady EMS, operator 992. What's the address of your emergency? Hey, Grace, Atlanta. He said he's at Lindbergh Drive and Adina Drive. Lindbergh and Adina because someone's been shot in his car. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, somebody shot in my car. Huh? Say your street name for me. Lindbergh and Adina. Atlanta, can you spell that for me? Lindbergh, Grady. Lindbergh. L I N D B E R G H. Adina. A D I N A. Drive. Okay, yeah, it's not locking for me. Give me one second. Atlanta, did, so did those, the address lock for you? Yes. I'm sorry, is someone, is someone shot or did someone shoot it at your car? Yeah. Somebody shot in my car. Are you been shot? No, I don't know. I'm, I don't think so. I'm shot. But somebody shot my customer. Yeah. Okay. Sir, are you saying someone is inside your car shot or your, your, your car is shot? No, some, no, somebody in my car is shot. Okay, the person, is they breathing? Uh, yeah, I see. Some breathing. Do you have it yet, Grady? Lindbergh Drive at Athena Drive. Someone shot in his car. What kind of vehicle you're driving, sir? Cadillac, Cadillac. It's what easy. color? Black. Okay, you said a black Cadillac, is that correct? Yes. Okay, you advise someone is, someone in your vehicle is shot. Atlanta, do yes. you go ahead and re request PD and fire? 310. Atlanta 911 non emergency, operating 0688. How can we help you today? Well, this is ADT Security. We're calling to report a mobile panic alert for an Uber customer. He stated he ordered an Uber for a friend who hasn't arrived to his location yet, and the driver's location is showing to be in one spot for a long period of time. Okay, what is that location? That location it looks like 760 Linden. Lindenberg Drive, Northeast. Who did he order the Uber for? Um, the female's name. He did say she was supposed to have arrived at his location by 431, and she had not. As the dispatcher guided the terrified driver through those agonizing moments, the car remained a battleground of uncertainty. Inside, Tisha Bruley, the social media sensation known for her charisma and dance moves, fought for her life. The hail of bullets had left her injured, struggling to grasp the surreal horror of the situation. But the chaos and fear inside the vehicle was quite noticeable. 
Outside, the assailants who had ambushed the car made their escape, leaving behind a trail of devastation and unanswered questions. Who were these gunmen, and what drove them to unleash such a terrifying barrage of violence? As the dust settled and the authorities arrived at the scene, the grim reality came into focus. Tisha Bruley, the social media personality who had brought joy to countless followers, had become a victim of a senseless and brutal crime. Family and friends say the woman killed was Tisha Brody. She was a popular Guyanese socialite and media influencer who lived close by. The shooters are still on the run this morning. Police have not identified any suspects and neighbors who heard that early morning gunfire are still on edge. It's scary. It's, it's, it's becoming very scary to live here. I don't know what happened, but it's, it's sad. Especially being that somebody got killed. That's, that's real sad. This morning, Atlanta police are asking anyone with information to please call Crime Stoppers. The investigation that followed was marked by relentless determination. Detectives meticulously sifted through evidence, interviewed witnesses, and reconstructed the sequence of events, seeking to unravel the motives behind this horrifying attack. As the investigation unfolded, it became clearer that justice would be relentlessly pursued. The authorities, fueled by a determination to bring the assailants to account, left no stone unturned. They combed through the crime scene, meticulously collecting evidence, and interviewed witnesses who had been in the vicinity. However, despite their tireless efforts, the case presented a forbidding challenge. The identity of the gunmen remained shrouded in mystery. Who were these individuals, and what had motivated them to launch such a ruthless attack on Tisha Bruley? Authorities were quick to label it a targeted attack, one that left no room for doubt it was a calculated strike. In the chaos that ensued, the Uber driver, who would later become a crucial witness, shared his belief that this was no random act of violence. Instead, it bore the chilling hallmarks of an ambush, a deliberate and sinister plot to kill an innocent person. Jahari Humbles, a witness at the scene of this shocking crime, would later reveal a haunting detail. Tisha Bruley, whose dreams and aspirations were still within reach, was less than one mile away from the sanctuary of her residence when tragedy struck. It's a grim reminder of how close she was to safety, yet how far from it she remained. One man, Nick Taylor, shared his harrowing experience with WSB-TV, and his words paint a picture of the chaos that unfolded. Nick recounted being jolted from his sleep by the thunderous roar of gunshots. But these weren't the typical sounds that punctuate the stillness of the night. No, these gunshots transformed the silence into a battleground of fear and uncertainty. It sounded like a war was going on outside, he recalled, the memory etched into his voice. I was shaking. I mean, usually, when you hear gunshots, it's just like, pow, pow, pow. And it's over, but that sounded like a good 20 seconds. As investigators delved deeper into the web of leads and clues, they faced a daunting task. The gunmen had made a swift escape, leaving behind few tangible traces. Yet, the city's law enforcement agencies remained undeterred, driven by a determination to bring those responsible to justice. But wait, there's more to this story than meets the eye. Just months before the deadly attack, a storm was brewing in the political arena, and it had Atlanta residents talking. The murderous incident occurred only a few months after a Senate committee rejected a neighborhood's bid to break away from Atlanta, a move supported by conservative locals who felt the Democratic-run city wasn't doing enough to deal with crime. The city of Atlanta was left reeling from this brazen attack, and the hunt for the gunman would become a relentless pursuit of justice. This bold strike put the city of Atlanta, which was already dealing with plenty of difficulties, on edge. The town had been rocked to its foundation by Tisha Bruley's brutal murder. And the search for the attackers became more urgent. As this unsettling story comes to a close, it serves as a sharp reminder of the frail bonds that bind our lives together, not simply as a story. Tisha Bruley's life was abruptly ended in an act of unimaginable violence, leaving her loved ones with an emptiness that can never be filled. My heartfelt condolences to Tisha's family, friends, and all those touched by her vibrant spirit. In the face of such senseless tragedy, may you continue to heal and one day find peace. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.